Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kellenberg's third video for builders and designers in Fusion 360. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can create your chain links for your sprockets on your robots. But first, I wanted to go over something that not many people overlook when they are builders in robotics. It is very important to write your ideas down before you even start. And I also wanted to show you a website that can inspire you to create your own robotics engineering notebook and start writing your ideas down. If you go to roboticseducation.org uh, and find Rec Foundation, if you scroll down here, it gives you a gaming resources um, for each year's competitions. It also gives you the design notebook from a previous year, I think it's 2015, and it shows a perfect example as to how this student um, Let's open it up right here. How this student wrote his or her ideas down. Basically, they write lists of what day they construct things and how they wanted to construct it in the lab. If you are working in Fusion 360, it doesn't hurt to write your ideas down. Sometimes what I do is I just write little things here and there in Word documents on my desktop. This is the measurements that I'm going to be using in today's video. What is also important is the gaming resources. It gives you the game manual, the appendix uh, of field specifications, which I used in last year's competitions, which helped me create my autonomous period for those who code, and it can also help you build a robot that will be comfortable in the setting. So you want to make this. Start by importing a C channel, and we're gonna drag in some sprockets. Don't forget to break your links because we are going to be creating sketches on this for this specific project. And then we're gonna use our previous knowledge of joints and we want to create a path for the chain links to follow, these high strength chain links. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sketch on the plane of the C channel, and we're going to be making two circles starting at each center of the sprocket. We want to use a fixed constraint on the two circles because we don't want them moving anywhere. Then we create a line on from the circle to the other circle and from this circle to this circle. Then we're going to be using the, constra the tangent constraint to make sure the line connects to the circle. So now they all have tangents as seen by this circle with a line to it. And we're going to be then making the circle a construction line because we're not going to be using the entire circle. We only want to use a curve of it. So we're going to be making a curved arc onto construction line circles. So we want to then go down to create arc, three point arc. And we're going to be taking the end point of this line, which is a blue square. We're going to be connecting it to the other end point of the line, which is the blue square. And we're going to be lining it up. The blue X says that it's connected to that circle construction line. We're going to be doing it to the other side. You can finish the sketch. And now you have your path trajectory right there. In order to find the measurements, you use the inspect tool and click each one of these lines. It will give you the length. This one is 10.941. Uh, and you want to specifically inspect only the curve. So that's going to be 2.30. So you add all of those up and then you're going to subtract 3.86. And that's the length of the high strength chain link. When you get that number, I my total is 29.902. And after subtracting by 0.386, I get 29.516. It's not going to be completely exact by the decimal, but you'll see that it is very close and you can fidget around by sight. We're going to make sure it lines up in the correct way. So we're going to rotate this. We're going to highlight this, click M so that it's selected and we're gonna change the move type to point to point. We're gonna select the origin face as the cylinder center and we're going to select the target point as the top of the sprocket, since that's the way it will be facing 
on the chain. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a pattern on path, capture position. We're going to make the orientation path direction. We're going to select the path and we're going to make the distance 30.2 inches. We're going to leave start point at zero and you find the quantity by taking the total distance without subtracting 3.86. So in this case, it would be 30.5 and you're going to divide that by 0.386 and in my case it's going to be 79. For the distance you do want it to be the total subtracted by however long the one chain link is. The chain link happens to be 0.386 and as you can see here it looks as if everything basically lines up and then you click OK and what it's going to do is create more parts of that same chain link. Then finally, what you can do is creating a new component, changing it to chain links. Take all of your chain links, one down all the way to 79, shift clicking the first to the last, and you can drag it right into your chain links new component. So that is how you figure out how many chains you need to make this chain link. So you can create different parts of your assembly in different projects and then combine them all together in your final Fusion 360 robot project. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.